show you how to do a, a three hole oil change on a 2015 Street Glide Special. Uh, we're going to eliminate all the fluff and get right down to it. First thing we're going to do is so we're going to start with the crankcase. Um, if you look at the bike right there. Uh, also make sure you get the bike hot before you uh, start doing this. That way your oil will drain faster and you'll get more of it out because it's hot. So if you come up underneath the bike here, it's going to be that bolt right there. And that's the one to get your uh, your oil out of the crankcase. Okay, so I got the the drain plug almost all the way out. I put an extension on it just to make it easier to turn. Get the oil pan over it. That way I don't get burned by oil too. There we go. Now it's going to drain slow until you come up here and remove the uh, dipstick. We remove the dipstick. It's going to release the vacuum in there. There we go. And now it really comes out. And let that drain. When you pull that uh, that plug out, you're going to check here. That's a magnet. You're going to check for any uh, metallic shavings or anything like that that could uh, be uh, concerning. This one's super clean. Um, we're also going to change the O-ring. Change the O-ring every time. They're cheap. So just pull it off and throw it away. Then we're going to clean the, uh, there's, there looks like there's some thread lock on here. Actually, the it's a Teflon tape that the dealership put on for the thousand mile service that I paid for. I always do the thousand mile service uh, so that they'll have a record of the first initial break in period uh, which won't uh, cause my warranty to be voided. At that point you can take it over yourself and just keep records of everything that you do. Okay, since we don't have a bike stand, we're just going to lift the bike up and that'll help it uh, drain out of the crankcase a little bit more. We'll do that a couple times. Okay, so we're gonna, while it's draining, we're going to take the oil filter off. It's way up at the front. They make some tools for this that you can put in here, like drain, uh, like oil filter drain pans. I don't have one. I've tried one. It didn't work very good. So I'm going to just go back and do like I've always done and just shove some uh, blue towels in here to, to absorb any of the oil that comes out. Then I've got an oil filter wrench. You can use a... Lots of different kinds of wrenches out there, uh, band wrenches, which are real nice. So, but this is what I've got, and it's what I'm going to use. I've always used it, and we're going to take it off. <clears throat> now, if you once you feel the seal break, you can uh, reach in here with your hand. There, the seal just broke. And take this off now, and spin it. And when you spin it off, if you tip it this end down. You'll save, keep some of the oil from uh, coming out all over down inside of the uh, the front of the engine. See how I did that? That way, the oil's still inside of the filter instead of all the way down inside of your uh, your your electronics of your voltage regulator. Okay, so then we'll take our our towels out. You can see it did capture some oil, which is good. That's what we wanted it to do. And uh, just make sure you clean it up real good down here, best you can. There's a little frame part down here that oil gets caught on. Wipe around the oil filter housing. That might seep a little bit or drip a little bit. So uh, you can leave a dry towel underneath it right there. It'll drip out sometimes for a while until you get ready to put the new oil filter on. Okay, we're going to prepare our new oil filter. I like to fill it about halfway with, the oil, with oil. And if you swish it around it'll it'll absorb into the uh, filtration elements inside of there and then you won't see any floating around in there that just gets it gets it uh, partially filled so that uh, you don't take a big hit on your oil level once you get ready to uh, start the bike up after filling your uh, crankcase then we take some we put it around the the seal what that does it prevents it from binding once it hits against the uh, oil filter housing, and cause it, which could cause it to rip off. Okay, so we're going to take our blue towels out now, shop towels. 
get your oil filter. If you didn't overfill it, you won't have any oil come out, so you just turn it on until you feel it grab. Once it grabs, there's a couple ways to do this. You can either make a mark on it and hand tighten it half uh, to three quarters of a turn. It is hot in there, so what I would recommend is put your oil filter wrench on, use this as your, your marker, and wherever that is, turn it to the other side and a little bit more, and that'll give you your, uh, your half rotation. So I've got mine, it's right down here. So we're gonna turn it to the exact opposite side. And that'll give me a half rotation. And there we go. Pull it off and now your oil filter is on. Okay, so we got the oil filter back on. I'm gonna lift the bike up again. And we're gonna watch for drainage. And if it's not draining, then we know we're good. Nothing coming out. Good. So we're good. We got it all drained. Put the bike back down on the jiffy stand. And then we can uh, start our um, plug preparation. Okay, so we got our drain plug. Here's the new O-ring. Just kind of put it on there, roll it, and let it roll itself on. Make sure it uh, it's loose. And then you know that you haven't pinched anything or twisted it. And then I've got some uh, liquid Teflon. Okay, I had to open up my liquid Teflon. It was a new tube, so it was still a... Uh... So we're just going to put a little bit of liquid Teflon on. With our finger on there, turn it counterclockwise. It'll, it'll fill all your threads, and there you go. Your drain plug is uh, ready for uh, installation. Okay, pull your drain pan out. Clean around your hole real good your drain hole. Take your uh, drain plug. Be careful it's hot. Thread it in by hand as far as you can. That way you'll prevent any cross threading. I can actually get mine in until it seats, which is pretty good. And then refer to your owner's manual on the uh, torque spec for your the drain plug for your bike. Okay, so we, we, finished the, uh, we finished the draining the crankcase. I haven't filled it yet. We're not going to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drain the transmission fluid as well because the two fill holes are right next to each other, so we'll just fill both of those at the same time. Um, so if we come down here, show you where the transmission drain plug is. It's up underneath the bike on the right side, and there's actually a cutout inside the cross member on the frame and your, uh, your drain plugs under there. It's the same 5 8 inch wrench. You'll probably need to put an extension on it. Put it up under there until it grabs. There it is. And take it out. Do the same thing. Get it pretty loose, as loose as you can. Or you can get it by hand. There you go. Get that to draining. Take our dipstick out. It's where we fill it as well. It's going to be hot. so That should allow it to drain a little bit more as well. Then while we're doing that, we're going to tip the bike up again. Watch for more drainage, which we are getting. And we'll do that until uh, until it stops draining. Okay, now we're going to put our drain plug back in. Prepare the drain plug just like you did for the uh, crankcase. Come under here, get your uh, shop rag. Make sure you clean the uh, the hole and this area around the hole uh, real well. You're not probably not going to be able to reach it, so put it on your uh, five eighths wrench. Put it up in there and uh, do it by hand again so you don't cross thread anything and tighten it according to the specs for your particular bike now we're ready to fill okay we're going to uh, fill a transmission 
Uh, my particular bike takes 28 ounces in the transmission to start with, and then you, you check it and bring it up to level. So be sure and uh, consult your owner's manual for your bike. We put 28 ounces in, we're going to go ahead and uh, check our level. Now another thing you might want to look at is there's an O-ring on the, uh, the dipstick and if you need to change that out uh, you can get, do that as well. This one, they'll usually last about three times. So to check transmission you put the bike on the jiffy stand, you drop it on there, let it sit on the threads, and you pull it out and that's how you check your level. And mine needs a little bit more. I'm right at the bottom of the dipstick. Okay, so I got mine filled. Took a, took a quart. And we'll take our 3 8 inch um, Allen wrench again. Have to get it in by hand. And we'll just tighten it up. Okay, there you go. Transmission is done. Now, while we're here, we'll go ahead and do our uh, crankcase. Mine calls for three initial quarts, so we'll start with three quarts. That's why I like to drain both the transmission and crank at the same time, because the, the drain plugs are right close together and the fill holes are right there together too, so it just works out. That way you can drain and fill pretty much at the same time. Okay, same with the, with the uh, crankcase. There's an O-ring on here that you, you'll want to check and replace it if necessary. Usually you can get about five oil changes out, maybe even six before this one goes bad. It's, it's a little stronger than the transmission one. So for the crankcase, you screw it all the way in, then take it back out with it on the jiffy stand and check your level. That's three quarts and I'm sitting almost to the full state. So that's going to be just fine because once it gets hot, it's going to expand from that point. So three quarts was perfect. So put it back in and now you're done. You've now changed your transmission and your uh, crankcase. Uh, just for reference, I am using the full uh, synthetic uh, Screaming Eagle 360. It's actually a 6040, it's not full synthetic, but it is recommended by Harley. I used it on my 2012 Street Glide, got 63,000 miles before I traded it. Bike was still running great. Actually, the dealership sold it pretty shortly after I, I traded it in. So I'm gonna use it again. It's great oil, it works fine. Okay, so we got the crankcase now and the uh, transmission drained and refilled. Now we're going to do our primary. Uh, the uh, drain plug is under here, right there. Same same socket you had before, 5 8 inch. I use a, uh, a plant pot bottom because it's real low profile. Fits under there easily for the drain. Same thing, just get it on there far as you can drain it there you go let it go now your primary is where your clutch plates are at so you will usually find at the end of your drain plug you usually find some residual around the magnet and what that's going to be it's going to be um, from your clutch plates and uh, you'll have it almost every time a little bit um, excessive obviously is not good that means you're probably riding your clutch or in that friction zone too much but yeah you'll always have a little bit okay while that's draining I'll take the uh, clutch inspection cover off I'm just gonna break each of these loose with a T27 that's a Torx 27 Then once I get them broke loose, I'll just put an extension on it and take them off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of them off except the top one. The top one will hold the, hold the cover on for me so it won't just fall off. It'll be the last one I take off. It's hot too, by the way. Like I said, you get the bike hot. So you don't want to have, hold on to this thing for too long. Just let it drop off in your hand. And set it down because it is hot. There you go.
Okay, so I'm just going to clean out the inside of the uh, cover. Um, you can take this ring, this seal out if you want to. If you decide to do it, don't uh, don't pull on it because it's hot. It'll stretch and it won't go back in. So I just dab it. I've always dabbed it like this. Get some of the oil out, and um, that way the seal will stay into place. Uh, you can reuse this seal a lot of times. Um, I think I got five times out of it on my my other street glide before I had to replace it. But that's about all I do with that. Then you can come in here, clean your your rim. As you can see, I've got a hydraulic clutch on the Street Glide Special. We don't have an adjustment screw like the uh, the uh, mechanical clutches do because you don't adjust the clutch on a hydraulic. So at this point, we're ready to uh, get the drain plug back in and fill the primary. Okay, once again, prepare your drain plug the same that you did with um, with the other two for your transmission and your uh, your your crankcase. Clean your hole where it's going in. Start it by hand, put it in as far as you can to pre prevent any cross threading. That's as tight as I can get it. Put your wrench on it and tighten it according to the specifications for your bike. Okay, so my bike, according to the owner's manual, takes 38 fluid ounces. That's uh, 6 ounces over a quart. A quart is 32. I've got this handy little uh, fill funnel. If you don't have a stand to hold your bike upright, this works great to be able to fill it. So we're going to start with one full quart. And once we get the full quart in, we're going to have to measure out 6 additional ounces uh, to go in here. With your, uh, with your primary, the amount of oil that you put in needs to be exactly what they say. If you don't put enough oil in it, um, it's going to be hard to get in gear. If you go over the amount, it'll be so slippery you may not be able to find neutral. So just be, be sure to get the right amount of uh, oil according to your service manual or the owner's manual that came with the bike. I use a measure right cup when I when I measure and you can you know fill it up to your six ounces you know you know you're good that'll give you a 38 I just happen to have a parcel uh, container though there's the four ounce mark there's the eight ounce mark I'm right in between so that's six ounces so I'm just gonna finish this off and that'll get the right amount you can do it from the container though like I'm doing if you just uh, pay attention to your markings We're going to put our uh, cover back on. Um, you can mark it when you take it off, you know, to find out where it is. I just use the uh, Harley Davidson emblem, and I know that that goes at the top hole. It's upright that way. So you can put your first bolt in, get it started, and let it hang there while you put the rest of them in. Again, do it by hand. I know I say that all the time, but I've seen it happen too often where people will use like a like an electric drill to do this and they'll cross thread it. And now you got a cross threaded primary cover that you've got to replace or drill out and re-thread. It's just not worth it. And you can do it this way and and never have any issues with that. So come through here. Once you get all the men, tighten them up by hand, as tight as you can get. And then you'll go back and you'll torque them to the specification of your bike. So when you tighten these up, you're going to start at the top and you're going to do a star pattern, just like a, a star. And you'll do that until they're all uh, tightened to the, the torque specification. That way it tightens the cover up equally and helps that gasket seal properly and evenly against the, uh, the primary cover. Okay, so that's how you do the uh, three-hole oil change on a 2015 Street Glide Special. Hope that helps you. It'll cost you about $86 to do all three holes, save you quite a bit of money. 
Uh, I recommend giving the bike a bath after you're done just to get any oil that might have uh, gotten all over the frame or especially with the uh, oil filter in the front of the bike where that, that mess could be made. So again, uh, visit rumblyrider.com for more uh, riding stories and maintenance uh, tips and uh, appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel as uh, I put more videos up you'll be able to get more uh, ideas on how to maintain your bike.